Shortstop, Major League Baseball, who's the best in the business today? Well, I'm going to tell you, as well as my top 10. So here it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the shortstop position is loaded with young talent that's ready to explode onto the scene, as well as some vets that have kind of been there and already made their impact. But regardless, I'm going to break down my top 10 for you. As always, I'm Turbo, the, co the producer and co-host of the Turbo and 2Ks podcast, where I try to do every week. However, I've been, this is the fourth time I, I, I recorded this video and something always seems to happen. Something must be against me with these short stops, but I'm going to try once again, see if I can get this video laid down to you. So let's jump in with number 10. Number 10, Bo Bichette, probably one of my biggest man crushes going right now. That Blue Jays team is loaded with youngsters, and Bo is just the newest addition to that roster. He's going to lock down that hot corner for many, many years to come. I have great, great things coming for Mr. Bichette, so number 10, Bo Bichette. Number 9, we're going to the White Sox and Tim Anderson. What does Tim Anderson do? Win batting titles. That's what he does. That's what he does. Has a, you know, Batting titles, great glove, great stick. Great all around, pro, great all, all around player, and with the young nucleus that's coming up with the White Sox, I think he's going to be that nice kind of middle of the road veteran. Not quite the seasoned vet, but he's getting there. But yeah, he, he's going to be an integral part of the White Sox success. So keep an eye out for Mr. Anderson. Coming in at number eight, we're going to the left coast, Oakland. Marcus Simeon. Seems like this dude just keeps getting overlooked and overlooked and overlooked and i believe he's one of the top 10 shortstops in the game right now obviously otherwise he wouldn't be on my list but this kid has all the makings of a great shortstop a glove a stick an arm so keep an eye on him i think he's kind of a sleeper right now but a great couple more seasons to follow up what he are what he's already done in the majors he might even creep into that top five Number seven, now we're gonna talk about 2Ks, one of his man crushes, Trey Turner over in Washington. What can't Trey Turner do? He's got a great stick, a great glove, a great arm, and great speed. He can go first to third, probably better than anyone on this list. So what more can you say? This kid's on a great team, you know, reigning World Series champion. But Trey, we need you to stay healthy, brother. We need you to stay healthy. I need a couple more solid, solid seasons to see you move up on this list. Number six, we're going to Colorado and Mr. Trevor Story. Trevor just kind of waltzed right in when they when they d decided to part ways with Tulowitzki, and all, all he done is hit a million bombs. Great batting average, great glove, great arm. This kid has what it takes. Put him and Arenado on that left side of the defense, and man, nothing's getting through. You've got a solid nucleus to build around. Now let's just see if Colorado can build around it. Coming in at number five, probably one of the, again, a younger player, dazzling glove, awesome player, probably one of the most fun players to watch. I'm talking about Mr. Fernando Tatis Jr. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Tatis has everything that you could ask for in shortstop. Great range, great bat. Great speed, great arm. Him and Manny Machado on the same side of the field. Man, we just talked about Trevor Story and Arenado. This could end up being a whole lot better. I'm not sure you could get any more arm on a left side of the infield than these two cats. But Tatis is young. I need to see it at least one more year before I get him even close to the top three. But I have, there's no doubt in my mind, this kid is going to be a number one or number two shortstop in no time at all. Number four, we're going to Chicago. Well, we've already mentioned one Chicago shortstop, so you know who the other one is, Mr. Javi Baez. Baez probably has the best hands of an infielder I've ever seen. I was telling people when he was playing second base that he was the best shortstop on the team, and Cubs fans didn't believe me. Well, look at here. We've got a, what I meant, number four. We have a top four shortstop in the league that used to play second base. Now, one of the major knocks on Javi is his strikeouts, his free swinging. If we can get that locked down a little bit better, he's gonna be in like Flynn. All right, now it's time for our top three, the creme de la creme, 
And coming in at number three, people might say I'm a homer, but I don't think so. I'm going into Boston. I'm taking Bogarts, Xander Bogarts, all day. Dude had a career year in 2019. I see it only getting bigger. The loss of Mookie Betts is huge for the Red Sox, and I think he is going to be one of the milestones that's keeping this team together, keeping it flowing, taking that leadership role. Doesn't have quite the speed that a lot of these guys do. He's not flashy in the field. He gets the job done efficiently, has a strong arm, but he is one of the better hitters on this, on this list, so that's why I have him at number three. Number two, if you guys remember my second baseman video, I kind of hinted at this, but as much as it pains me to say, Gotta go, to the, gotta go to New York, Mr. Glaber Torres. Torres is an amazing, amazing fielder. He's come up through the, farm, the Yankee farm system and just dazzled people, not only in the field, he can play second, he can play short, he could probably play third if you really wanted him to. But man, it, it, is he packing a big stick. And big sticks travel, defense travels, so this guy's gonna be a cornerstone for the Yankees. Now, one of the reasons that I had him listed on my second base video is I have a feeling if baseball starts, you're going to be able to use him as in fantasy as a second second baseman and shortstop. So keep that in mind. Now, I, I do have a feeling, like I mentioned in my my second base video, that they're going to, the Yankees are going to use him, him as the shortstop and LeMahieu as a second baseman. But still, probably if, if you can pick him up in fantasy, I would do it and play him at a second baseman and get one of these other studs that are on the list to play your shortstop. What could go wrong? And remember your boy when you're winning your fantasy baseball league, give me a little cup. And lastly, number one, the king of shortstops. And if you've li if you've been through all this, you kind of know where I'm going. Mr. Francisco Lindor in Cleveland. Well, at least for now, he's in Cleveland. Hopefully Cleveland decides to pull their head out of their ass and sign this kid because this is one of the, one of the personalities, the talent, just the overall baseball player that you want to build your franchise around. Cleveland, if you're listening, and I know you guys watch, sign this kid, get him his payday, because your team is going to lose so much. Even if you trade him away, the prospects you bring in, what are the chances that you're going to bring in a prospect to replace not only a talent, but a clubhouse, uh, a clubhouse person like just attitude that he is? I don't think you're going to find that. So sign him. Get it over with, get it done. And you'll probably save a lot of Cleveland fans some heart attacks, you know, some sleepless nights. So get on that. Well, folks, thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna try to get back on the back on the on the horse and do these once a week. But uh, if not, make make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below with your top 10. Let's get a conversation started. And don't forget, we, I, we, we are still posting our full-length podcast as well as the highlight show on here in YouTube. Or if you wanna if you want to check out the audio version, wherever you download or consume your audio content, look us up, the Turbo and 2K Show. I'll check you next time, and I will see you later. Bye.